Hi, we're Richard and Jackie from Early Retirement Wonderlust. And we are at the most wonderful tropical Komuk bungalow resort, which is on the island of Komuk. When we were planning our Thailand backpacking adventure, we used YouTube as an invaluable resource for hotel reviews. So we thought we would pay a little bit of that forward and let you know where we've stayed and what we think about the resorts. So Komuk is a tiny tropical island in the southern part of Thailand and it is absolutely beautiful. Most of the population lives on the coast because the interior of the island is pretty wild jungle so it has that really tropical desert island feel which we absolutely love. It's not commercial at all and there are one or two large resorts but predominantly the accommodation is based around family run resorts that are small bijou and the one that we're staying in is absolutely beautiful in some respects it might feel like a difficult island to get to because it is so isolated but actually the ferry services are really efficient and very regular and very cheap and we found getting to the island as easy as just catching a bus. So the tropical Komi bungalows are based about 5-10 to 10 minutes walk from the pier where the speedboat arrives in. You can also get a motorbike tut-tut. They are only 50 baht per person no matter what journey you take on the island and that price is set. We booked it through booking.com and um, the bungalows range in price from £30 per night and you get a really good breakfast to about £75 per night for the most amazing high standard bungalows. The Tropical Komuk is a relatively small family run resort. It's only got about 18 bungalows and they're built into the hillside within the jungle overlooking the working port and it's important to remember it is a working port so we can't actually use the beach that's directly in front of the resort but it just gives you a beautiful feel of island life because the scenes change minute by minute. The fact that you can't swim from the resort is not a negative thing because only five minutes up the bay that way is the most beautiful long stretch of sand actually backed by one of the most luxurious resorts but it's complete public access so you can go and enjoy the beach up there. Each bungalow is uniquely designed ranging from on the beach front there are two of the older beach shacks that were much cheaper they're only £30 per night to book to the higher ones in the resort that are really quite luxurious and they are all each uniquely designed inside they're quite bougie and they've still got that little nod to tie designs there's lots of wood features in them they are absolutely beautiful so through booking.com we were assigned this bungalow it is a triple room actually so we have got plenty of space. There's a really nice comfy king size bed, there's also a single bed that's got a view overlooking the harbour front. It's got all the things that you would expect inside a hotel room, it's got a fridge to keep your drinks nice and cool, it's got tea and coffee making facilities which is just really handy. Richard's an early riser so he likes to have a coffee first thing in the morning. It doesn't have a safe which was one thing that we were surprised at. Um, we've been used to being able to lock our valuables away but that's only a minor little negative. Through this small door lies a whole world of bathroom amazingness. Now I'm not going to break with rate my shower tradition because why would I do that? So it seems a suitable segue now to go to rate my shower. Welcome to the tropical Komuk on Komuk. You can see an incredibly spacious, well-designed and stylized luxury bathroom experience. A traditional Thai feature of a modern stainless steel bum gun remains. Modern fixtures and fittings blend in well with the traditional Thai designs. Good range of luxury, complementary products, incredibly well presented. Two things to note here. Lots of storage shelves and traditional Thai construction of this outdoor bathroom facility. Note the interesting feature of a garden annex to the shower cubicle. A clean and modern shower system with an overhead rain head shower and also a handheld shower extension. A good flow of consistent hot water. Not forgetting more examples of complementary shower products. So in summary, 
It's top scores across the board, with the exception of hooks. Why does this one criteria let us down on so many occasions? Am I being unrealistic in my expectations of hooks in a shower room? So overall, for the Tropical Komook, a near-perfect score of 48 out of 50, one of our best reviews to date. And one thing I have to add to rate my shower is it is the first time we've ever had a shower room that has a garden annex. It is just so beautiful to be able to get showered in the outdoors. And just a couple of other little things to note that make it that little step above some of the other accommodations we've stayed at. It comes complete with beach towels and a natty little beach bag so that you can be ready for going out for the day. And it's also got air con, which we have grown used to in a lot of these accommodations. The bungalows are situated in the most beautiful terraced gardens. It's very jungle-like, it's very green and very lush, but there's a whole series of raised walkways that are beautifully lit on an evening. So it really does have a very stylized feel and you definitely feel like you're sleeping in nature. And talking of a stylized feel, the bar and restaurant area are based on the beachfront and they are absolutely stunning. It is beautifully designed, it's got views over the harbour and the bay, it's all made from wood and very traditional Thai style. It has lots of soft lighting, it's got mood music playing all the way through. The family that run the resort are just so, so wonderful. They are so quiet and gentle and polite and just so helpful. And it's a complete multi-generational effort, isn't it? So, the, you know, there's the, the grandparents, there's the, the kids that run it, and then there's the little ones that are running around. But all of them are absolutely moving this resort forward. And it really is quite incredible, the level of service that you get. So our booking comes with bed and breakfast. And the breakfast is served down in the beachfront restaurant every morning. And you get a choice of four different items off the menu. And we've tried the whole selection in our three days here and each dish is absolutely superb. From the ham and cheese sandwich that I had this morning that comes with a bowl of fruit and we had French toast to some more traditional Thai style breakfasts that Richard's enjoyed. Ah, I've just launched into them and if you've seen our previous blog on the resort you will know how much I have loved the Thai breakfast here. So everything from Thai omelettes over boiled rice to the fact that you get a selection of curries every morning. Korean breakfast, it sounds an odd one but it works for me. We've loved the breakfast selection so much that actually every night that we've been here we've eaten our evening meals and most lunches here as well. The food is superb, it's really well priced, it doesn't have the huge selection that you get from a lot of the Thai restaurants if you go onto the walking streets but everything that they do is absolutely spot on. It is beautiful. It has a real home cooked feel. We sort of joke that it's cooked by grandma and it probably is cooked by grandma or the ladies of the village that come into work. And as Jackie says, the menu is really quite limited, but just incredible home cooked food. I think it's the best food that I've had since we've been in Thailand for the last three weeks. And I don't think we've ever spent on an evening meal more than £10 between the two of us, so that is just ridiculous value for money. So as you can tell, we've had an absolutely fantastic time at the Tropical Komuk Resort. One of the things that you do have to be aware of in terms of getting to the resort is if you choose to walk from the local pier, you have to walk through the local fishing village, and that is a very local working fishing village and it's in sharp contrast to the luxury of the tropical Komuk resort but that is what island life and that is what Thai life is all about. Something that I really like as you walk through um, is the collection of different animals that you will go past. So there is a lot of chickens and roosters and ducks waddling around and there are quite a few stray dogs that seem to live on the beach. They're really, really friendly and um, they will come and sit by your feet while you're having your dinner. But just to note that there are quite a few animals around. And you do need to be aware that invariably you will be woken up by the sounds of nature quite early in the morning. I think the first First rooster this morning started giving it some at about 3.15 in the morning. It is actually lovely and calming but you just need to be aware that you're in a rural area with rural sounds. I didn't hear any of that anyway. As you can probably tell we have absolutely loved our time at the tropical Komuk and we would thoroughly recommend it if you are coming to the island of Komuk on your travels. So that's it from us. Hope you've enjoyed the review. See you later. Bye. Bye.